knew have brought along two objects for him to identify. One is his grandpa from the 1950s, and the other is a Mini Cooper, the British one. So, he's never seen these before. He's learning these from scratch. So let's see what he makes of this. Azimo. Unknown object. Grandpa. Grandpa, say, yes, this is correct, or no, this is wrong. Yes, this is correct. Okay. That means he's learned it. I will try that out later on. I'll go back with Grandpa and we'll see if he remembers who he is. Next, the Mini Cooper. Azimo. Pay attention, it's one of the most important small cars in history. Baby toy car. Mini Cooper. Mini Cooper. Okay. Right. Now let us see if the lad can remember Grandpa. Azimo. Grandpa. <laughs> And now, it's not a toy car, remember, it's now a Mini Cooper. Azimo. Mini Cooper. Precocious little brat, isn't he? Introducing the iRobot Roomba 560 Vacuum Cleaning Robot. The latest in a line of robots designed to help you maintain cleaner floors. Roomba cleans routinely so you don't have to. In your busy home, floors get dirty every day. Now with the push of a button, iRobot Roomba helps you stay ahead of the mess by cleaning more frequently. Roomba's patented three-stage cleaning system features a powerful vacuum and two counter-rotating brushes. This revolutionary system reaches deep into your carpet to remove an amazing amount of dirt, dust, and pet hair. And unlike an ordinary upright, Roomba cleans the whole floor, under and around furniture and other hard-to-reach areas. It even detects dirtier areas and spends more time cleaning those spots. Its spinning side brush and wall following technology let Roomba clean along wall edges and reach deep into corners. Roomba automatically adjusts its cleaning head to effectively clean both carpets and hard floors. Roomba senses and avoids stairs and won't get stuck on cords or carpet tassels, so you can feel safe letting Roomba clean when you're not around. Roomba 560 features onboard scheduling, so you can tell Roomba to vacuum when it's most convenient, whether you're at home or on the go. Roomba 560 also comes with two virtual wall lighthouses that keep Roomba cleaning one room, then guide it to the next so you can be sure that each room is fully clean. At the end of each cleaning cycle, or when its battery is running low, Roomba automatically returns to its home base to dock and recharge for the next cleaning. It'll be ready to go the next time you tell it to vacuum. Science fiction writers, filmmakers, they haven't imagined what we're able to do today. We've been experimenting with something here. I'd like you to meet a boy called Milo. He's a character 
that can recognize us, he can recognize our faces, he can recognize our voices, he can recognize emotions in us. And this is Claire. She's going to introduce you to Milo. Hi, I'm Milo. How are you doing? Hi, Claire. You OK? Actually, I'm a bit nervous. You? Nervous? I don't believe it. This is the first time that thousands of people are going to see this. Thousands of people? Here we're seeing Claire being recognized. And the emotion in Claire's voice being recognized. And that emotion reflecting in Milo's face. Those are all being seen for the first time. So listen, I was thinking today you should let me beat you at football again. That is if you finished your homework. You have finished your school project. What okay? happened there? I could just try to catch some fish. Draw some pictures in my journal. Maybe I'll do OK this time. I think that's a good idea. Lift off! Ooh. Don't know till I try, do I? Exactly. See? I've got everything we need. Well, great. Let's get started, then. You've got to put these goggles on. Goggles? Put them on like this. OK. What? Like that? Claire has been thrown a pair of goggles. Notice what she did. This wasn't acted. She felt the need to reach down for those goggles. Now, everybody, every single person that has experienced this reaches down because they feel so connected to Milo's world. Cool. So what are we doing? Do I have to stand at the edge? Go on. Put your hands in. It's not too cold. Ah, I bet the fish think you're a monster. Cheeky. Swish the water about a bit. See if you can touch a fish. There Claire is, in Milo's world. She's in that pond. Every hand movement is being recognised. Being able to touch fish, being able to swish the water with her hand. Everyone who's experienced it, the hairs are standing up on the back of their head. Now, what's about to happen is some real magic. Well, you're good at drawing. They're only fish, but they're trickier than you think. Well, here, I'll have a go. Right. I'm going to do a body and a tail, the big fin and a smiley face. There we go. What do you think? Look at what just happened. Orange. Claire That's drew a picture on a piece of paper. The piece of paper was held up to Milo. Natal recognised the piece of paper, scanned the piece of paper in. Milo looked at that piece of paper, recognised the shape, recognised the colour, and able to get on with his project. This is true technology that science fiction has not even written about. And this works today. Now, 